my name is Rachel Mesqua. I'm the Office Coordinator for the Advanced Practice Nursing Programs at FIU. Hi, I'm Nancy Vieta. I am the Admissions Coordinator for the Nurse Practitioners Programs, um, also here at FIU. We want to congratulate you for being selected for an interview for one of the Advanced Practice Nursing Programs. Um, it is a very competitive program, all four of them, and this speaks, speaks very highly of your academic performance during the last four, few years that you've been in school. So congratulations and uh, welcome. So you apply for one of four programs. You, we either have the MSN Nurse Practitioner Program, the MSN Degree Plus Nurse Educator, the MSN DMP Combined Program, and the Postmaster Certificate. Now, we also have four different tracks, which are the Family Nurse Practitioner, Adult Gerontology Nurse Practitioner, Child Nurse Practitioner, and Psych Mental Health, all of which are primary care programs. Our programs are fully accredited by the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education and approved by the Florida Board of Nursing. Our MSN program is cohorted. It's two years long and includes six semesters. Depending on the specialty track that you're going for, you will have either 44 through 48 credits. Um, it's a web-assisted um, program, so that means that you will have some classes that are online and some classes that are on campus. However, you do not get to pick which ones you do online and which ones you do on campus. They are pre-selected for you. So one of the programs that I mentioned earlier was the MSN Nurse Educator Dual Program. That program is a year longer than the regular MSN program that Nancy just mentioned. It's three years, and it gives you an additional five courses that are nurse educator courses. These courses will give you, will grant you a certificate in nursing education, and this certificate will um, give you the expertise to teach technologically enhanced curricula that improve learning. Um, it will give you the expertise to teach nursing students, um, give you the expertise to enhance classroom and clinical teaching, and with the certificate you can teach at the community college level, so you can teach for the Associate Science in Nursing or BSN programs, and you can also teach in informal settings such as the health promotion clinics or health education community clinic clinics throughout the area. We want to direct you to the link that you will see below. Um, it has the cost of attendance information. Um, pretty much you will see that it is um, a per credit fee of 628.49 as of right now. However, this information might change um, per year. And um, the other thing you must also keep in mind is that this is a fee per credit, however there are other fees that are per course or fees that are per semester. So this will just give you an estimate of what the total amount will be. If you are a part of our degree seeking programs, which are all of the MSNs, regardless of whether it's dual MSN, regular MSN, or combined MSN DMP, you are eligible for financial aid. Um, financial aid comes in the form of loans or grants. However, in addition to that, we also have scholarships um, that they change every year. We have them at the university level and at the college level. Once you are admitted, you will be emailed this information and um, you will be able to research and see if you qualify for any of these. Um, if you are a certificate program um, applicant, then you are not eligible for financial aid and this means that you must um, pay out of pocket. Once you're admitted into the program, you will be expected to maintain a grade of B or higher. Um, so this means that B- minus is failing. Now, you are able to or allowed to fail one time. That's fine, you can always retake that class whenever it's offered again. However, if you fail again, or if you fail another class, um, then you will be dismissed from the program. Please note that based on our grading scale, maintaining a B means obtaining an 85% or more in any given class. So now that we've given you a little bit of information about the programs, um, I wanted to talk to you about the plan of study. I'm sure you've all seen this before when you were applying to the program and you were trying to select which one to apply for, um, but I wanted to go over it a little bit more. At the bottom of the screen, you will see a link to where um, you can obtain this. Now. Um, Please be sure to follow the column of your selected program. This, each of these programs has already pre-selected, the courses are pre-selected per semester. So for example, the adult program um, will take the first course, which is theories, the second course, which is patho, and the third course, which is research methods during the fall semester. And then during the spring semester, they will take separate, a different two courses. 
So please be sure to follow the correct column of your selected program. If you have discovered any programs um, or specialty tracks that you did not know we, ha we offered and you're interested in changing either the tracks or um, the programs, you are still able to. Um, however, by the time you come to the interview, that will be your last day to change that information. Um, how will you change it? You just let me know. I'm Nancy, you have my information. Um, I'm the one that's been emailing you all along. And um, however, once you're admitted into the program, um, that's it, you are set into that specialty track. As Rachel mentioned earlier, our programs are highly competitive and there is no room for changing after you are admitted. We strongly discourage students from working a 40-hour week while in the program, um, especially during the clinicals. For three semesters, you will be completing approximately 18 hours of clinicals. And finally, um, the school will find you placement and preceptor. So thank you for watching this video. We hope that you learned a little bit more about the programs and we hope that we were able to answer any questions that you may have had. Um, we're looking forward to seeing you at the interviews. Um, so see you then. Bye. Bye.